Now, somebody uh, contacted me recently asking me about uh, these little Yagi adapters. And uh, I had a look on eBay. There's quite a few uh, sellers selling these. And uh, these adapters are meant to go over the remote control of a uh, quadcopter uh, to get extra distance. Now, the uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, remote control, but I'll put a link um, uh, up here on the screen in a moment and it does look like those antennas are fixed and it also looks like they're PCB antennas because of this small slot that we've got here that fits over the top of uh, the original antenna and uh, then turns it into a Yagi and uh, you get a little bit more uh, gain and uh, range without uh, any uh, you know hacking and uh, opening it up and doing any soldering but uh, I've also seen with uh, that particular remote control as well it also looks quite simple to uh, modify it so you can put a bulkhead SMA connector on there and connect directly to a high rose connector on the board of the remote control and that'll give you a lot more options but uh, these are pretty cheap I think I uh, only paid about £3.50 for these and uh, free shipping a little Yagi adapter and I uh, made a video some time ago now probably going back four years where I did something similar but I used a sharpie and uh, the elements and the measurements for that one is uh, one that I found on a uh, 3d printing forum and uh, the measurements were a little bit different to this if I uh, remember rightly I've ha have had try to have a look see if I still got one but uh, I can't find one and uh, it seems that some people have been playing around with these measurements and uh, you know this one is a little bit different so it'll be interesting to see if it does actually uh, work or not whether it gives you uh, any kind of real uh, performance or you know it's just eh, mediocre um, but uh, yeah be interesting to see and some of the sellers on eBay as well um, from looking at the pictures some of them are just slightly different with the measurements but as I said previously about Yagi antennas there are more Yagi antenna designs than any other antenna you get them in this uh, little box here but um, this one I've modified slightly because uh, as you'll see over on the test bench I'm uh, not using a flat PCB uh, dipole antenna to test this so I've just modified it slightly so it fits on a lot easier now I've also uh, picked up two of these little uh, parabolic reflectors. Um, I thought it'd be interesting just to see how much uh, gain um, these will give you compared to uh, one of the Yagi's. I mean these uh, work pretty well, they're, they're nothing special. Um, based on uh, the old uh, windsurfer design that uh, you would uh, print off and uh, use for uh, routers with fixed uh, dipole antennas, they work pretty well. but. Uh, you're never going to get um, anything as good as a proper uh, directional antenna. I mean, these I'm hoping we see some cane on there, but it's never going to work as good as a uh, proper Yagi antenna. So I thought we'd give these a test as well. So this is the uh, test setup that I've got here. And remember, we're just looking to see if um, adding one of these little adapters does do anything. And uh, I've got two. Uh, dipole antennas here, two very simple dipole antennas around uh, 2.5 to 3 dB of gain each. Now we're not looking at how much gain this adapter's got or anything like that. We're just seeing if there is a difference when we use it as opposed to a simple uh, dipole antenna. So this antenna is having a uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz signal fed into it and the second dipole antenna is connected up to the power meter and we're just registering the power that this dipole is picking up from uh, this one here. So if we take a look at the power meter, you can see at the moment, and if I uh, keep still, we're getting about 1.3 dB there on the power meter. So that's picking up 1.3 dB of power the second dipole is picking up from the first dipole. It has changed a little bit. It is very, very, very sensitive and it does depend on how uh, still I uh, sit here. But uh, you can see it's definitely under 2 dB. So now that I've put the little uh, Yagi adapter on the uh, dipole, we're certainly seeing 
an increase now in the uh, RF that's being picked up by the uh, dipole with the uh, power meter let me zoom in here a little bit and you can see we're almost on yeah, 8 dB of gain there that's uh, quite a big increase just by having uh, the little uh, Yagi adapter on there so we can safely say that uh, adding one of these does indeed work if I uh, remove this you'll see it drop back down again and I'll pop the adapter back on with my hand out of the way and you can see almost uh, 8 dB there of power being uh, picked up by uh, the power meter so yeah that's uh, safe to say that adding one of these does work it does make your little dipole antenna more directional so next we're going to try one of these little uh, parabolic reflectors here it's not designed to be used with this antenna but it does fit in quite nicely there so I'm presuming that this is uh, measured so where the dipole is that's a sweet spot for uh, where all the uh, energy in there the focal point converges, converges on that little dipole there so let's see if we've had much of an increase So you can see there we've got a uh, little bit of an increase we've jumped up to almost where we are at 5 dBm now if I sit still but uh, it's not as good as uh, the little Yagi adapter I mean uh, yeah we're seeing definitely seeing an increase with one of these but uh, nowhere near as good now I do think if we used something like thicker brass on uh, the reflector here you would see a uh, much better increase so I've made something here and uh, this is a piece of aluminium again it is a parabola uh, it's not as heavy as uh, this to be perfectly honest they're probably about the same weight but it's much thicker aluminium it's three millimeters thick so hopefully if I put this one on you'll definitely see that the front to back ratio um, is much better and we're getting much more of that energy directed to where we want it so here it is on the uh, power meter then and I'm sitting really still getting uh, 8.5 dB there that's being picked up by uh, the uh, dipole on the uh, power meter so certainly if you use a much thicker material if you want to make one of these little parabolas it uh, you know it works really well and works almost the same as uh, the Yagi adapter I'm quite surprised that the Yagi adapter works so well I mean when I first uh, built one of these I wasn't uh, you know it did increase I mean it was quite a novelty really but uh, it seems that uh, the measurements on this do work a lot better than the one that I built probably four years ago now but you can see if you want to do this then you know a thicker material certainly does work and you can also if you wanted to get some copper tape and uh, make this a little bit thicker on there um, rather than this uh, thin stuff that's already on there if uh, anybody's selling these and using a much thicker material something like three millimeters of brass aluminium or copper I would choose that one even if it's uh, a few pounds more because uh, you certainly do get a a different kind of uh, power increase by uh, the thicker material as I said it's all to do with the front to back ratio we're losing quite a lot of power to the back of this remember we're trying to change an omnidirectional antenna into a directional antenna and a lot of the power from that little dipole antenna is going through this thin material here because microwaves will travel through metal and uh, we're still losing a lot of that to the back we're seeing a small increase because some of them are being reflected out forward but uh, we're seeing uh, a much better increase in performance by just using the uh, slightly thicker material so if uh, there are any sellers out there selling it with uh, slightly thicker material for just a few pounds more then I would go with them so I've got the uh, test set up here with the little uh, dipole in place and uh, I've got a test signal but as you can see it's the last one on the list and at the moment it's showing zero all of these access points are mine they all belong to me I've got my garden Wi-Fi there the two access points that are to bring uh, Wi-Fi here into the workshop 
Um, the bottom one is the test one that is set up. Now, I was hoping to get a little bit of a signal off this little dipole antenna, but unfortunately, without the adapter, it shows nothing. But uh, if I put the adapter in place and line it up, just takes a minute or so. There we go, 30%. I have added it up to 46% by moving this around slightly trying to dial it in but you can clearly see there that uh, without the adapter we don't see any signal so the uh, little Yagi adapter is certainly boosting the power of uh, the dipole antenna making it directional so we're focusing all that energy in uh, one area instead of it being omnidirectional and it certainly does work to improve a signal so to quickly uh, conclude then, do they work? Yes, they most certainly uh, do work. There are many uh, different designs for these, as I said, online. But these, uh, I think, work better than uh, the uh, original Sharpie video that I did many years ago. And uh, as I said, I'll uh, include a PDF with the measurements for these so uh, you can download it. And it'd be pretty straightforward too. Uh, make one of these uh, I mean the only thing off the top of my head is this uh, director here is a little bit close to this one you tend to find that uh, the director that's closest to uh, the uh, dipole arrangement on a Yagi or any kind of driven element on a Yagi is a little bit closer than the spacing between the uh, parasitic elements and uh, you tend to find the same spacing from this one to this one uh, the same uh, length as uh, or the same distance as these two here but this one has got uh, this for, uh, second director here a little bit closer to uh, this one so it obviously works it's just uh, another type of uh, design in a Yagi but uh, yeah if uh, you bought these uh, it's a simple solution rather than uh, you know cracking open your uh, remote control unit and getting in there with a uh, Dremel and a uh, soldering iron certainly will keep your uh, warranty intact. As for these, these also work great but uh, the need, you need a thicker reflector on the back. I mean you could make these thicker with some uh, copper tape like uh, this here. You can buy it off eBay or from a garden centre. They use it as slug control and build up uh, quite a thick layer of copper onto this and then it should perform um, similarly to uh, this aluminium one here which is uh, three millimeters thick um, you know this one uh, performed almost just as well as the uh, Yagi so just make uh, one of these a little bit uh, thicker um, another question that uh, I was asked about these as well is there's pictures where they're using this and the Yagi at the same time but unfortunately for 2.4 gigahertz the focal point of uh, this para, uh, parabola here uh, is uh, just before the where the uh, you know the dipole will be here so the Yagi is just a little bit too long you wouldn't be uh, focusing anything on the uh, dipole antenna that uh, is running through there although the pictures that I've seen for the uh, 5.8 gigahertz versions of these it does fit on there quite nicely so possibly I'll get some of those in and we'll test uh, you know the uh, 5.8 gigahertz version with uh, the uh, Yagi on its own and then offer up the uh, parabola and see if that increases it a little bit more I'm tending to think that it won't uh, to be perfectly honest with you I don't think it will make much of a difference but uh, you never know so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video uh, a little bit differently there was two tests there just to prove that uh, these uh, do work and uh, they most certainly do I mean uh, you know these on top of your Wi-Fi router instead of using uh, sheets of aluminium foil also work uh, quite nicely if you don't want to uh, break into your Wi-Fi router only if you've got an external antenna of course that you can put one of these on top so if you did enjoy the video please give it a uh, thumbs up comments or questions uh, drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them but remember I don't uh, fly uh, quadcopters myself I'm only interested in the uh, radio side of things and uh, if you want to help support this channel please feel free to uh, pop over on Patreon and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one